My tomato plants, oh, my tomato plants must wait till the middle of June before they can go out. Poor little babies. Hop on your bike and come on over to my garden while I, Miss Gardener, checks out the wildlife and what they're up to on the 2nd of May. What kind of mischief is this squirrel into? What is he looking for? There's no seedlings out there, little buddy. You're going to have to wait. So we come upon May 17th of 2022, where there's a possible frost warning for tonight. Yes, frost. You heard me correctly. The delectable rhubarb plant that comes back year after year, a perennial. Another perennial would be echinacea. And my chives and my hostess and iris and solomon seal garden my peonies my daylily more solomon seal that are just magnificent i really love how they are spreading themselves out over these 22 years they dance in the sunlight look at that aren't they just a sight to behold and some of them, if you look closely, they're blooming little white bells you'll see hanging from below them, right there to your left. Pretty soon they'll all be in bloom and just gorgeous. I have a plant that even under in minus 40 Celsius and Fahrenheit weather stays green, the leaves, all winter long, even deeply covered in snow. The flowers, of course, die off, but the leaves stay green. I have no idea what this plant is. Honeysuckle. Another tree I don't know what was. My irises. Little lawn ornament that I love. The beginnings of a waffle bed. I didn't want to get do away with the idea so since this part of the permaculture bed number one was opened I decided to use the limbs in a half waffle fence around it and all the way around the circle on the outer edges in the center so it sort of looks like a bird's nest in the center will be squash winter squash and they will lay on top of the wood that goes all the way around hopefully protecting them from slug damage because they will no longer be um, laying on the ground of the permaculture bed. And what you saw was uh, my homemade bed from scrap lumber that I'm going to fence in somehow. And just a little tour around my garden, a little short tour for May 17th. It's another tree I'm just sort of experimenting with. I cut all of the leaves up from the bottom and just left the top. I like the looks of it and it opens up the area a bit. So more of my echinacea. This is the gnarly tree that I told you that the uh, gypsy moth annihilates and it's coming back. I had to cover my deck containers because of the frost for tonight. And there's my birch tree bonsai and that's a wine barrel that I don't know what I'm going to put in yet and that's a rogue tree that I keep short I don't know what it is either but it doesn't matter it's pretty I enjoy it and that's the way my garden looks on uh, May 17th so far